a Buddhist monk who triggered a storm of criticism in Thailand after he was filmed carrying a Louis Vuitton bag aboard a private jet has now been accused of being a fraud who is married and owns 13 cars and motorbikes. Luang Piyunangsam Chattago, an abbot of the Kantitham Forest Monastery in northeastern Thailand, made global headlines when he was seen with designer sunglasses and bag-in footage posted on YouTube on May 22. After launching an investigation, Thailand's Department of Special Investigations has now accused the 34-year-old monk of being married to a woman called Yupinprathong Yanthua and having relationships with at least seven other women, the Telegraph reports. It has also now emerged that Piyunangsam is the focus of a money laundering investigation. Police Colonel Pong in Interakeo claims the monk is part of a group of people who have bank accounts filled with cash from public donations to the monastery, and that he owns two houses and 13 cars and motorbikes. A fellow abbot has also accused the monk of being a fraud, saying he is not entitled to wear the religious robes and that he had filed a complaint against him in Bangkok's criminal court. It is a criminal offense to wear the robes in Thailand if you are not entitled to do so. Piyunangsam is believed to be in Europe and has been ordered to return home to Thailand. After the video was made public, the country's national Buddhism body said it was taking steps to monitor any inappropriate behavior by monks. The Director General of Thailand's Office of National Buddhism, Naparat Benjawat Nanun, criticized the monks for not adhering to Buddhist teachings of simplicity and self-restraint. But Mr. Benjawat Nanun said life was different when Buddha was alive and monks today had many more temptations at their fingertips. When Lord Buddha was alive, there wasn't anything like this. There were no cars, smartphones or cameras, so the rules were much simpler, he said. While the monks need to keep themselves abreast of new knowledge, current events and technology, they are restrained to choose the appropriate tools. Mr. Benjawat Nanon said often monks were given luxury sports cars and gifts by their followers and called for people to stop spoiling them.